Hello and welcome to the project on cats versus dogs image classification. This project is on image classification, especially about bringing a model that can be differentiate between cat images and dog images, which are actually categorized as cats and dogs classes. So let's move forward and understand about image classification. Image classification refers to the task of extracting the information classes from a multiband raster image. Depending on the interaction between analyst and the computer during that classification, there can be two types of classification which are supervised and unsupervised. So for this project, we will be using supervised image classification. Now, before I move forward, let me just help you to understand what raster images are or what multiband are. So bands are basically telling you the information about raster. The bands are actually the representation of pixel data in the form of matrices of cell values. And these representation of pixel data comprises of raster. Now let's move forward and understand the details of the project. Now first we will be using classes like mobile nets that these are actually pre-filled train model for image classification that we will be using. You can train them again or you can directly use them. Second, we will understand how to do image classification to build our own model. Third, we will understand how to use flask and use that image classification model on it. Lastly, we will deploy the flask project on Hero. So, for the machine learning model, we start off with pre-processing the model's data using image data generator class, which is like a very useful class and does a lot of parameters on which different type of images can be transformed or augmented in a different manner. And then we move forward with training our model. So this is the second part of the course where we will be understanding class and how to mount the image classification model onto the flask uh, so that we can build a web application of image classification. Lastly, we will be deploying the flask application on hero using connections to github and with this we we can now move forward to the first part of the course where we will building our model or using a pre-trained model